Mirrors, a Beauty and the Beast fan fiction by Green Searcher. Prologue. The young prince woke to creaking floors. His eyes shot open, chest heaving as he sat up, blinking against the darkness. He could hear the curtains brush against the ground. The cool nighttime wind sending a chill up his spine. Ha! Hello? He whispered anxiously. No, nothing replied. Calming down a bit, the ten-year-old laid back down, pulling the heavy covers up to his chin and convincing himself it was only his imagination. He was nearly asleep again when a raspy voice rang out from the silent room. My, my, what a handsome child. The boy froze in fear, suddenly sweat bathing him as the sick voice and hung in the quiet air. This is just a bad dream, he told himself, pulling the covers further over his head. Eyes squeezed shut as he tried to will the terrible presence away. Now, is that any way to greet the great enchantress of the East? The prince's eyes flew open behind the covers at the revelation. No, it couldn't be her. His heart nearly stopped as a heavy something settled at the end of his bed. The covers flying back and exposing the boy to the cold air and an enormous woman glaring down at him. She was, by any standard, beautiful. Bright, ruby eyes, flawless skin that glowed in the moonlight, lips as red as the roses woven through her white gold hair. Yet, to the child, she was terror incarnate. Prince Adam, she hummed. Words sliding off her tongue, her hand reaching out to caress his face. We finally meet. Adam pressed himself against the bed frame, heart caught in his throat as her sharp nails ran across his cheek. He could feel the hairs on the back of his neck as they stood on end, feel her hot breath falling in waves over his skin. Goodness, you do look like your father. She hummed, licking her lips as she looked him over. Suddenly, she frowned, the mirth fading from her gaze. Except your eyes. Those are hers. She snarled, nose wrinkling in disgust. Help! Adam finally choked out, swallowing roughly. He mustered all the courage he could. Guards! Help! The witch only smirked as heavy footfalls echoed from the hall. Two sentries charged into the large room moments later. They pointed their spears at the intruder, their eyes growing wide in fear as she slowly stood towards them. It's the witch! One of them barked. We can't let her... Ah! The other cried, both guards quaking in agony as their bodies slowly shrunk into nothingness, their spears crashing to the floor and seeming to tremble against the stone in rebellion. The enchantress pulled her hand back examining her nails before glancing in amusement at the young prince. He stared in horror at the spot where the men had just stood, eyes growing wet with tears. Not very hospitable of you, Prince Adam. She tut tutted. Surely you can give a poor woman shelter from the bitter cold. She continued, voice dripping like acid as she pulled one of the roses from her hair. She held it out to him, expression growing strangely soft as she leaned in closer. Adam felt his eyes grow suddenly heavy as the flower's scent overwhelmed him. A gift, child, she whispered softly, and had nearly given in to the spell when his father's warning flashed into his mind. Beware the offering of a witch, my son, he told him. I would not have you repeat my mistakes. Adam shook his head roughly, throwing out a small hand at the rose, sharp thorns cutting into his skin. It flew from the witch's fingertips, petals scattering along the ground. Adam clenched his fist, ignoring the blood against his palm. You! You aren't allowed here! He rasped, grinding his teeth in anger. My father banished you! Her crimson eyes suddenly grew dark, her cheeks sinking in as she bared her teeth. How dare you! She growled hair losing its luster, skin growing patchy and rough in the shadows. You! 
the filthy mark of his betrayal. She nearly screamed, thin fingers curling around his neck. Like your father has any right, any power to banish me. Adam couldn't reply, hands tugging at her fingers as he gasped for breath. As much as you tempt me, I'm not, in fact, here to kill you, she conceded, releasing him and snatching his wrist in one cold grip as she rose to her full height, her head nearly skimming the tall ceilings, hair flowing around her shoulders as she dragged him towards the door. Where, where are you taking me? Adam asked, tugging in vain against her hold. She leaned down, slowly, trailing fingers through his hair as she smiled once again. Her beauty had returned, though in the darkness, her eyes remained the same. You, little one, are going to make my task much, much simpler tonight. End of prologue. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed this. That is seriously intense with some really, really disgustingly creepy undertones there. This is a really good story, but the the nasty stuff is bad. It's it's bad. I'm going to warn you guys right now. Though, admittedly, this is one of my favourite Beauty and the Beast fan fictions. It blends most of the classic with a little bit of the modern. And it really just is a beautiful conglomerate of Disney magic with a bit of the Grimm Brothers thrown in there for good measure. Even if the Grimm Brothers didn't write Beauty and the Beast, but it's still very them-esque. Anyway, remember to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified for whenever I upload a new video. Have a good day, night or whatever time zone you're in. Bye, my Kyles guys, gals and non-binary pals. I'll see you in another video. Bye!